Kamala Harris uh, issues dire climate change warning in Africa, existential threat to the entire planet. Okay, she said this three days ago, I want to say April 1st. Um, Vice President Kamala Harris visits Panuka Farm in Zambia, Zambia and gave stern warning about the existential threat of climate change, calling it a global priority. Harris noted that Africa is one of the lowest uh, emitters of greenhouse gases, but is playing some of the highest cost related to climate change, particularly in terms of food security. Harris highlighted the importance of climate resilient agriculture and reducing greenhouse gas emissions around the world, citing Food scarcity as a cause of conflict and displacement. Harris's visit to Africa as part of the Biden administration efforts to build partnership and bolster the continu- continent's growth uh, amid uh, global rivalry over its resources. What's your thoughts about this story with Kamala Harris? Well, it's it's you know very typical. Uh, almost all Western politicians will go down and lecture uh, poor Africans uh, on climate change, and I think it tells you two things. First of all, she wants to say this is a, an existential threat, and it goes back to that whole conversation we had before that most people who are advocating on climate will tell you this is the end of the world, and it's obvious because if you can get people to believe this is the end of the world. You don't think about the costs. It's a little bit like with COVID. If you know, if we don't do all these draconian things, we're all going to die. Then you're more willing to let yourself do that. It is not. Climate change is a problem, not the end of the world. And that should, it'd be helpful if you actually told the truth on that. The second bit is much more sinister, I think, because that goes to saying, I'm here in Africa, and a lot of people will typically say, you are so vulnerable to climate change. So that makes it the most important thing. We should all cut our carbon emissions. Well, why are they vulnerable? Because they are poor. Remember, yes, poor people are most vulnerable to climate, but they're also most vulnerable to pretty much everything else. They're vulnerable to not having enough food, to not having good health, not having good schooling, all these other things. So why not target but, economy? Exactly, why, why go climate exactly. instead of economy? If you actually want to make poor people less vulnerable, also to climate, but presumably also yeah. to all these other things, you lift them out of poverty. It's not rocket science. And they know that themselves. So what Uganda and others are actually saying is, we would like to get rich as you are, Miss Kam- Kamala Harris. Right? They would obviously like to be like the US. They would like to have a lot more energy. What are we telling them? We're telling them no. We're saying you cannot start using fossil fuels. I know we're using, what, 80 90% of our energy from <clears throat> fossil fuels, but no, you can't do that. Uh, so Uganda actually wants to increase its emissions and have much more energy that would make them much richer, which is a tiny fraction per capita of what the U.S. would ever do. But the U.S. and almost all other rich countries are saying no. We are literally telling, no, you have to stay in poverty in order to fix climate change. I think that's incredibly entitled. And of course, the reason why we do that is because Kamala Harris and all other Western politicians know that they can't tell you or me or other rich people, I'm sorry, you have to go you know, sit in the cold and dark and, and be poor. That's never going to work. But they don't seem to mind to tell that to poor countries. And that's, of course, why a lot of African countries don't like us very much. Just to give, give you a sense of proportion, the average person in Uganda has less power than what in total for industry and everything than the average Californian use to heat his or her pool. That's the sort of level we're talking about. They use more on heating their pools than the Af- average Ugandan has for everything. And this, of course, is why they actually think, and I think they have some moral right to say that, we'd like some more. So why doesn't Greta go down to uh, Africa and uh, interact with people who uh, have, have so I, little? I, I why doesn't she, she do that? She's I got think a photo she, shoot. She, she, yeah, she knows she's that that would look going. bad. But it is, it is, it is impressing that she goes to the U.S. and mm-hmm. to, Ameri- uh, to Americans and Europeans and tell them, you got to cut, but not to Chinese and Indians mm-hmm. and Africans because she knows that would be looking how, really bad. How? So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.